Welcome to F1 22, a very special video. We are going to Miami for the very first time. And we're shaping up, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna try a wet Miami and see what happens. But please be aware that this is not the final code. The car performance is gonna change, the look of the, the game's gonna change. This is not the final game. There's still a lot of polish to be done before the release. So yeah, please be patient. Please be nice <laughs> in the comments. Um, from what I've played so far, I am very excited for this game. Um, also, thank you to the EA Critics Network for letting me play the game early. And uh, let's go to Miami. Welcome to Miami. Yeah, we are gonna jump in a Mercedes with Mr. George Russell, and it's gonna be wet. We're doing a sprint. A free lap sprint. Formula One has arrived in the Sunshine State for spectacular sunsets, gentle breezes, warm waters, and for what will be a fantastic race day here at the Miami International Autodrome. Well, it's certainly not sunny here in the Sunshine State. A lap of the Miami Grand Prix features 19 corners and 3.36 miles of track around Hard Rock Stadium. These conditions should prove especially difficult for our drivers today. So you may have noticed there, a new commentator is now in the game. You can switch between David Croft and Alex. Also, there's some uh, new co-commentators as well. But Miami is looking incredibly wet right now. Very, very wet. What a terrible start. Ooh, gets a little bit ugly into the first corner. Really ugly. <laughs> yeah, we went from third to fifth or fourth to fifth. Not the best start. Getting a lot of wheel spin. A lot of wheel spin. And instantly the cars feel a little bit heavier, for sure. Uh, must be honest, in particular, the wet Grand Prix you're seeing here, the sprint race does feel a little bit unpolished and there's still there has to be some work done in the back end for sure um, but it's just good to see the game in action and boy am i excited for this game um, so the cars definitely feel heavier much like reality uh definitely feels i feel different they feel like there's not as much downforce uh, they still feel super quick maybe a little bit slower um, in terms of the last game yeah, it's, it, handling's interesting. The one thing I definitely noticed, and I'm very excited for, more in the next race, which is a, a dry race, the AI is uh, pretty, pretty good. Definitely upgraded, indeed. Very excited for this. And the fact we have a new track in the game is awesome. Even if it doesn't ever rain in Miami, in the game, we can make that happen. And this is, uh, again, a new feature here. We have a sprint race which obviously was not in the previous games. So we can now do a, a sprint format, any Grand Prix you like. It doesn't have to be Imola, for example. It can be any of the Grand Prix. So if I finish sick where I am right now, I'm sick for the race, like a, a sprint race. Uh, it would look like a sprint weekend, um, which is awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm catching up Leclerc here. That's getting a little bit punchy. You can see the rain light on as well. And the lights on the wing. I get quite punchy there. I'm not sure that's really going to be an overtaking place. But I did catch the AI napping a little bit. Yeah, cars feel really nice. Definitely a different feeling. Okay, this is your oh. final lap. Final lap of the race. Yeah. Jeff has retired. I'll talk about it a bit more in, in, in future videos, but yeah, Jeff is no more. Rest in peace, Jeff. Look at guy. Oh, really aggressive on Verstappen. How does it eat? How does it feel to eat your own medicine? Eat that, you fool. <laughs> I ain't doing that one. But this is Verstappen. He doesn't give up. And this is what I like about the, um, the AI. It wasn't mentioned much in this uh, showcase that we got to see uh, behind the scenes. It wasn't really mentioned at all, the AI, but it feels different in some way. I don't, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe, I, I don't know. Particularly in the next race, they're very punchy and very defensive, which I like. Oh, he's not giving it up. Well, he backed out. I think we just got the position there. Ooh. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. 
Oh. It feels weird not hearing Jeff or David Cross. It is weird. It's a new era for F1, what can I say? Here we are then, a phenomenal Miami Grand Prix. And what a great show of skill from our new race today. Keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions is really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who's joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. And now, straight on to race two. Lovely weather. This is probably what you're going to expect at this weekend's Miami Grand Prix. We are Lando Norris in last place. How depressing is that? Oh, very odd. I have nowhere to go there. Stroll pushed me wide. And I'm proud I've done an illegal overtake. You need to give that place back. I, I I'm afraid that's that was an illegal overtake. I think that's fair. And I've got a pull back in here. I'm, I'm so slow. I have to completely back out. And they're taking full advantage of the situation. Look how good this track looks in these conditions. Oh. So, uh, we've got a bit of a guess here. But I'm guessing they've used the, the bar rain uh, as a sort of quota for car performance because Daniel and Lando are in very slow cars at the back of the grid, like the Bahrain Grand Prix. So, oh, Album, what was that? Very late defensive move there. That was scary. That was terrifying. Uh, damage is on. I've turned the AI up as well compared to the first race. And they are racy. Very racy. Still getting used for the game. So this is a new car as well using a realistic performance. So we're looking to come 14th, 15th, ideally. Checking out some of the camera angles. Oh, again, Latifi, what are you doing, man? Oh, looks good. Oh, looks very good. So I can only show you guys a, a small portion um, of gameplay. Um, if I had, if I had the option, I would upload a full race, <laughs> a full length Grand Prix, maybe. I don't know. But um, for now, this will have to do. This is the embargo. But again, first impressions are, are pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm looking forward to this track. I think it's got a lot of potential. I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. A little bit of Valencia. Um, we went to it recently. Nicotar? No, is it No. Saudi Grand Prix? I don't know. Um, oh, completely missed my breaking point. Whoopsie. And here we have AI fighting. I like to see this. It gets very um, close to contact. I think they may actually touch. I don't know. No, they're, they're fine. There's enough space. Oh, they do touch. and take full advantage. Latifi, please don't spin. Yes. Um, the overtake button, the ERS, doesn't seem to be penning as often, but again, uh, that, can, that can change the full game. Um, it took a lot of effort to get the bar back up, and it goes very quickly. So maybe that's the change they're making for this game. Oh, our ball. Come on, man. The ERS is open. We can go for a lunch here. Really enjoying this fight with the AI. Even though it's at the back of the grid, I don't really mind. I'm, I'm enjoying it. They act more realistic. They act more defensive, more assertive. So Metal was going very defensive there. I'm going to have to go around the outside. It leaves me the space, though. He's still there. Look at him. He's not giving it up. Very interesting. Okay. 
this is the last lap. Again, I'd love to show you guys some more gameplay, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the glimpse. And gap to the car in front is 1.9 seconds. The glimpse F122. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you guys excited for the game? Any questions, I'll try and answer them, but there will be more content coming up fairly soon. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, enjoy the end of this Miami Grand Prix. This little five lap squint. See you guys soon. Bye. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi.